An adopted son accused in a plot to have his parents murdered. The reason, police say, money. Normal, sane people don't do things like what he did. Nicholas Shaughnessy faces life in prison after his mother dodges gunfire in her bedroom and survives. His father left dead on the kitchen floor. If this kid doesn't get put away with all of his friends forever, then he'll have died in vain. Tonight, new, never released details in a case that shocked Austin. Tony Plohetsky has the story of money and murder. So sorrowfully sad for his family. Ted Shaughnessy was a gregarious businessman, a high end jeweler, a charmer. This was the first piece I got from him. Shelley Todd met Ted Shaughnessy when he opened Gallery Jewelers with his wife, Corey. We were window shopping and went in and met Ted, and from then on, it was. We were friends. The couple had worked in the pawn shop business in Arizona. They moved to Austin in the early 1990s to begin a new life. Jewelry became their focus. But he also longed for something else in life. He just wanted a little boy, you know? They went over there to get a, a little boy, and they came back to Austin and, you know, had their business and their family, and he was very happy. This was the little boy they adopted from a Russian orphanage, seen in a family photo several years later. The Shaughnessys had brought Nicholas to the United States around his second birthday. Nick was just a happy-go-lucky young boy. Brian Colfack lives down the street. He always seemed to be a very bright young man. He was always very inquisitive about things. He wanted to learn. Nick and his father shared a love of racing. He also took karate lessons at this school in Oak Hill and went on to earn a black belt. By then, Nicholas Shaughnessy also had developed a fascination with finances and finery. And you'd be constantly trying to mention his money all the time in class. Tyler Scott, who was in the class of 2017 with Nick, says he often flashed Rolex watches to try to impress fellow students. His junior year, Nick met Jacqueline Edison, who moved to Austin from New Jersey to live with her father and quickly became Nick's girlfriend. His apparent fixation with money also led to this profile of him in the school newspaper. He reveals a plan to get rich, day trading at home. One month after graduation, he and Jacqueline married in secret. They moved to this townhouse and college station. That's when police say Nick began a scheme he hoped would make him rich. It was a crime that shot everyone who knew Ted Shaughnessy. An intruder killed him here in his own home. Authorities say whoever did it also intended to kill Corey. She crawled to a closet and hid there until police arrived. That morning, March 3rd, Nick stood outside the family home, now a crime scene, with investigators. We all kind of thought it must have been an, uh, a burglary gone bad. During the next few months, the family announced in a Facebook post that Nicholas would be carrying on his father's legacy at Gallery. Longtime customer Sharon Jason stopped in Gallery Jewelers to express her condolences. I told her how sorry I was about Ted, and then she introduced me to her son Nicholas and told me he was taking over the business. But during the next three months, detectives built a case pointing squarely at Nick. Documents say he conspired to have his parents killed because he stood to gain up to $8 million in property and life insurance. Investigators say he asked a list of potential hitmen before finally finding this man, Johnny Leon, to pull the trigger. Detectives say someone else helped Nick with his murder plan, Jacqueline Edison, and that text messages show she was in on it too. On May 29th, Travis County Sheriff's deputies arrested Nick Shaughnessy and Jacqueline Edison. Uh, it was just uh, shocking to think that he would think that at 19 years of age, his future was going to be uh, contingent upon him killing his parents for insurance money.
It has been six months since Ted Shaughnessy was killed, four since Nick's arrest. The 19-year-old faces life behind bars. Jacqueline Edison has turned on him and is now cooperating with investigators. Nick's mother is standing by him and insists her son would have never planned to have her or her husband murdered. Sharon Lynn Salata, who works at the children's store over the rainbow, knew Nick as a child. Of everyone, there is one person she can't stop thinking about. When I think of Mrs. Shaughnessy, I can't even imagine how her heart feels. I mean, I can't even conceive of the heartbreak she must be going through. A family that once seemed to have it all, now shattered. The reason? Police say one thing, greed. He's not a Shaughnessy. He's not family. Yeah, I mean, he had the opportunity to be a Shaughnessy and he pretty much ruined that. So what do we care about him now? Tony Plahetsky, KVU News. And we have much more to this story of money and murder. Tune in Sunday night on KVU News at 10 to see the full story.